Hi everyone, copper vessel turns black or greenish after some time of usage. In this video, I will explain why this is the case and what you might be doing wrong that speeds up the process. Copper turns black because of the oxidation, which means that copper reacts slowly in the presence of oxygen, resulting in copper oxide, which is what we call tarnish. This is perfectly natural process. If not cleaned on a regular basis, this tarnishing can further develop into corrosion, which is usually green. So yeah, since the tarnish happens due to oxygen, there is nothing left other than clean the copper on a regular basis. But if your copper vessel turns black very quickly, it might be due to factors that speed up the process, which you might be able to control. First factor is moisture on your copper vessel. Because the fate of the copper vessel is to store water in it, the copper vessel is bound to tarnish quickly. To minimize the moisture, wipe off the water from the washed copper vessel very well, rather than letting it dry on its own. Also, it might be down to high humidity, so just make sure that you keep your vessel in a dry place away from kettle and stove. If you live in a high humidity area, well, you're screwed. You might try coating your copper vessel with a light coat of baby oil, olive oil, beeswax or even Vaseline. I personally do not feel the need to do so, therefore I cannot say if any of those really work or not. But you can only apply it to the outer surface, so it seems a bit pointless to me as it would be black inside so we would end up washing it anyways. The second reason is heat. This is because heat makes copper more reactive. The copper cookware-like pots are usually lined with another metal on the inside to avoid copper's reactivity when heated. But copper vessels usually are not lined, so you can actually benefit from the copper ions getting to your water. Therefore, you should not pour hot or even worse, boiling water, coffee or tea to the copper vessel. If you prefer to store water that you have previously boiled, make sure you let the water cool off to room temperature before you pour it into the copper vessel. It's also one of the reasons why not to put copper vessel into the dishwasher. Another reason is that you might be cleaning the copper vessel with harsh commercial cleaning products. It might basically contain substances that react with copper, so it's best to rinse it on a daily basis and clean properly with natural products mentioned in my other video, how to clean copper vessel. Acidic substances such as milk, vinegar, wine, citruses and fruit juices all react with copper. In fact, you should not keep those in your copper vessel as they can lead to copper toxicity. Copper vessels are designed to keep only water in them, so keep that in mind. And finally, your water might be soft. This type of water, opposed to hard water, lacks the minerals, making it aggressive towards online copper, meaning that it will pull copper ions much more quickly than hard water does. Bear in mind that if you have soft tap water, you should limit the consumption of copper infused water or shorten the infusion time to avoid consuming too much copper. And that's it for today's video. Hope you have learned something and if you got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Have a Mogolicious day and see you next Thursday day.